Hey everybody, so let's consider this auction preview number three. Since everything is hanging, I'm doing it this way, so we're going to be able to go quickly around these. This is the Maurice Capri, beautiful, beautiful piece. Next to that up there is the Morris Dennis, the first Provincetown Playhouse. We need to get that to the Broadway Sound Theater. Then, of course, we have the uh, Howard Mitchums. We've got two of those. Love that. This is a pair that are done by Derek Wolcott. Derek Wolcott, one of the 20th century's most famous poets. He won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1992. Uh, Kathy Lee Smith, great prince. That one's obviously a white line, and that one is a woodblock print. Then we come over here, and we have an Arlene Gay. I'm just backing up so you can sort of see the perspective. Um, great unknown um, Provincetown School. It's of that same sort of style of pieces that we've had um, recently that do really well. Okay, these three. Oh my god. You know how hard it is to take photographs of black pictures? Just impossible. So they actually show pretty well right here. But the photos on the lot list? Ugh. Arg. This is a great, great Nana de Groot. Now again, it changes because there's all sorts of, there's varnish on it that does make it shine. Um, but that's actually, it looks really good there. And same with these two, they look much better on the wall. Um, Raskin and then Pollock down there. All right, we come over here to this great, lovely, uh, very colorful Nancy Wharf looking down the wharf. Afternoon Delight, a Lillian Orlowski. Okay. Don't get much of her stuff. Beautiful. Todd Lindemith. Now, this Lindemith, uh, even Jim had never seen before. So it is incredible. All right, Marjorie Ryerson. This is not signed, but as you can see, it's got a plate there and is obviously her style. So we are pretty secure in saying it is hers. Come up here, one of two Joan Hopkins. Nice piece over here, Nancy Nicole. Again, I'm stepping back so you can see the perspective with the size. And we're coming forward again. All right, Lillian Meeser, lovely piece. Great, um, another Nancy Wharf, oil. Beautiful, beautiful nude. Then of course we've got the Edwin Dickinson, which is our feature piece in the auction. Great, T.J. Walton. Really nice. So a break from the from the whales. Great Meg Hinton, as you know, we love her work. We were showing her for a couple of years. One of two pieces by her, and that's obviously in a box thing. I know somebody who needs that because he has three small ones. All right, somebody needs to talk to uh, Bill and Daniel. Like he needs to get Daniel, our current town crier this print it is perfect look of it he's ringing the bell in snow love it joe swan wonderful little piece this great tiny noland is the name i forget her first name um look at that watercolor it's amazing so sweet so so sweet okay david mcphail talk about people see this and they come running in they're like oh my god we love that painting david has written uh, dozens and dozens of books, illustrated books um, with animals. This is adorable. I know Steve Bowerstock was showing his work and this is coming back to um, us from somebody who purchased there. It is adorable. All right, the Ann Packards. <clears throat> Again, still life. Fantastic piece. Don't see many though, these are early. This is that 1981, just amazing Ann Packard. It's got this little weird little, it looks like she used her finger up there or something. Uh, I just, I, I'm so in love with this. Stunning, never seen anything like it. Great little Margaret Patterson, European Village, Red Roofs. This is that mud head, which I think is gonna do well, all right? It's got all the bonus of the extra Wharf in the background. This is the Junius Allen doing well already. Now remember, I do show pictures of this. There are some paint loss variants, okay? Wouldn't take more than uh, very much money to get uh, Christina Bird to fix it up. There's that Garrett Benneker. And again, uh, I'm gonna flip it in a second. 1920, there's one tiny, 
tiny little spot of a paint loss. And let me just pull it off the thing so you can see. Oh, uh, the back. How about that? All right, last four. This is Joseph Alexander. We've been doing well with his stuff. I love this piece. That's why I put it next to my desk. Harriet Newhall, Great Dunes piece. People keep thinking it's a George Elma Brown. There is this little, I'll show you right there. Little, it's not coming up, but it's obviously cracked a little in that. This is the unknown Provincetown scene. I called it seagulls. Got some dirt. And that wonderful Sal Del Deo. We all know where that rock is. This makes an impressive statement. So that is what's on the blue wall. Remember, I am here Friday the 25th. Everything is on view for this auction, okay? Next time I will finish it up. We've got one more preview to go.